what's going to happen, because um, well, she's still flying in from Ottawa. Okay. So uh, when you do wake up in the morning, you will see a fairly badly written note um, that the Blackguard have asked Matef to basically debrief them. Um, ah, okay. Well, that's what happened to me, to Jay. Uh, apparently the Discord app wanted to update mid-sentence. Mm. Oh! <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, that is where Matef is right now. It just, it says he will be back when they go off for that bastard. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, just as a quick, like, non-RP side of things, Jay or Zach, if either of you want to have accomplished anything before we get up to present day, we will cover that, and then we'll get started, because as I just explained, uh, Kaya will be a little bit late. I expect you're probably here within the next 40 minutes or so. Okay. Well, does V need to get anything done? Because I've gotten, I think, most of what I need to get done. Uh, what else? What did I miss? Uh, you guys... Managed to find an, an inn. It's called the Hydra's Tower. Tavern. Oh, Tavern. Tavern. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fix that. Zan Xantix got you each a room at least for the night. Uh, it is fairly nice. Yours, yours actually does have a window. Uh, on top of that, just a comfortable bed, a place for some clothes, a general chest a little bit larger than a footlocker, as well as a place to write. I settled down for a moment, and I went downstairs to eat. And then I went out. Yeah, I'm just... To buy rations. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you would do until the Battle of the Arts. I think that... <laughs> Alright. Um... Is there any there at at every battle of the birds? There is plenty of gambling. Is there anything you want to bet on, Zach? I am not letting you bet because you know the outcome. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh man, I influence the outcome. I don't know what you're talking about. I just know it. <laughs> So does Vivine want to make any bets on the event, or...? Uh, seeing as Jade as it is, I'm gonna go no for now. Yeah, like, you haven't watched the episode with the battle, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay, then yeah, you're, you're totally allowed to. The reason he's not is because he's watched the battle. Oh no, I just meant that I don't know what the bat what a battle of the bards is. So Oh, okay. Um so in the Battle of the Bards what you know about it is traditionally it there's a set of extra magic um that is used so that song, dance, any other bardic form of magic uh is enhanced and you're capable of creating these I, either A, creating phantasmal creatures, or B, uh, more or less buffing yourself, creating magical forces around you to make you more capable, stronger, as if you were the heroes from these tales that you're singing or acting out. 
um, then it is a, like, from the most part, direct combat with the other bard's constructs. In the end, whoever, more often than not, the better your song and better performance is, the better your uh, construct will act and react. Um, and in the end, the last person who is, who has their construct standing is the winner. Um, what... Yeah, um, there are a few where it's not as much direct combat, but more often than not, an event like uh, the Battle of the Bards tends to have some direct combat. Um, you also know, especially since the event is in a few hours, it's far too late to sign up as an actual competitor. Um... Sorry, what was that? Is there any uh, straight theater piece rather than combat sort of situation? Um, a lot of it is theater in combat. Like the the entire arena gets turned in into the landscape of it, and you hear the song and dance, and everything seems to flow together to it. Um, so there are even uh, almost like a choir which sets up the area around and the ambience, but it is still very much the, like the headliners very much are in the style of this is combat. Yeah, so there's nothing else that is less combat, more performance, like great theater performance, or just, uh, she'll go to the back, but I, 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 is, is she cutting out really bad for anyone else? I'm still cutting out, even with the I'm back. upgrade. Oh, yeah, like I'm, parts, yeah, yeah I, I'm hearing a few words, and then it gets like that metallic tinge, and then it comes back fine. problem is I can't tell if it's it could be the internet it could be my phone it could be the you sound fine now yeah I, I've just got you boosted a little bit and then I might be able to hear you through the little drop offs because it's not that you go silent it's just it goes from regular speech to drop to like 20% volume and then back to normal Okay, so let me reset my router because that is that is okay. That was like an internet issue. Well. Oh, she's resetting her router. Oh, right. Didn't really listen too well.
Okay, so you said um, I'm getting a, a full rest, and we're level. Well, I'm level five now. Uh, yep. Is it just a hit dice for HP? Uh, yes. I like how roll 20 doesn't realize you've left until you've come back. Dell, that was a ballsy first roll of the night, let me say. <laughs> no, see, the thing is, it wasn't a d20. It was, it was still the f first roll of the night. That I don't know how Dell's curse works. It's a scary thing. One's whenever it fucking decides. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see when he rolls a d20 you can be the first one to do that too how does yeah. the uh, wand recharge work uh it, it right because you've actually finally used enough charges that you need a roll for the recharge don't you yeah I have 4 out of 7 still in it uh this one Ow. Uh, roll a d6. Okay, uh, you get... Well, you would get four charges back, but you can only go up to seven, so... All right. Oh, this might not be good. Okay. Uh, you want to try talking? Yeah, sorry, I was trying to get him to calm down a bit. Okay. No, you just had me worried that it wasn't working at all. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's just that, yeah, like I, I said, for this session, I'm going to be on my phone and on Wi-Fi, but I'll go with an Ethernet cable tomorrow. All right. Um, so, yeah, you were saying... If it's just mostly a combat style thing. Yeah. She, uh, 
a perform like a straight performance like uh, some actors performing somewhere or a jester even someone like juggling in the <laughs> in the square yeah and i mean for little things they're mostly around it seems not too much is going on today probably because there is that huge bardic event and they would have like the the requirements just to set up the scenery would have drawn most of the skilled actors in town to help out as a side project um like zach you can actually remember that all those people preparing <laughs> just like they were general townsfolk yeah no, I I remember pretty well. <laughs> yeah. Um So yeah, if if you're not interested with that, if there's nothing else that you really want to cover before things get caught up to current day. Yeah, she You may have to try that again, Jay. And now it's lighting up and nothing's coming out. And we getting anything from her? No. She's trying, I think. I don't yeah. know. Maybe she should just type. I assume she's on a laptop. She could just type in all twenty for the duration. Yeah, she might have to. Or she could do that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty dope solution. Don't laugh at me, you little boy. What? <laughs> to me? No, the other little boy. <laughs> Your little pee pee. Yeah, you're like, all right. <laughs> so, um, well, I'm following V around. Unless if she joins that helping choir thing. Um, I mean, it, if if she does, it will basically just be a quick skip over. She gets the idea. And it's a small little payout. She'll basically just earn five gold for helping out. Nice. Um, aside from that, like you, the will continue time on anyway. Uh, you will hear about the victor and everything. It's a surprising upset, as in her first match ever, 
uh, somewhat a uh, Aarakocra by the name of Iki has won against several crowd favorites. Hmm. <laughs> Wow. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just move up to today, Dell. You're off the blocks. You're you're pretty much alone with Zessel gone. Um, Curry's held up in a room and is fairly unresponsive, and Matef's already gone off with the Blackguard. Hmm. All right. Um, is uh, Zessel's stuff anywhere piled up? Um, Mataf was the last one who had it, so you can take a look around through there. See if you can find anything. Okay. Because um, also, Zach, you packed everything when you left that day, right? I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, because the only thing I would have had out was my Poisoner's kit, or my Herbalist kit making those allies, and I would have taken that with me. Then, yeah. Um, there's nothing in Vessel's room. Do you want to take a look around Matefs for stuff, or? Uh, yeah, I I think I knew that she, or that Matef had a bundle of something. So I'm gonna uh, look around the room for that, I guess. Yeah, sure. Uh, there. Okay. Um. So you actually find the items pretty easily, mainly because you can detect one of the rings in the room. Mm. Um, and you find it in in a sack. Uh, it smells pretty bad, but it seems to contain uh, his ring. Um, and I'm trying to read off the the list that she has of what she actually took. Um, the gemstone that looked to, like it should go in a necklace. Uh, Zessel's boots that still has Zessel's feet in them. Hmm. Um, a pair of unfinished daggers. Um, three books on uh just random subjects that you're you don't really or you haven't really taken a closer look at to figure out um a dagger that has an emblem on the hilt that looks like an oddly distorted version of the guild's uh crest as well as a very small perfectly intact blight seed Alright, I'm um, going to pull out my uh, fancier garb okay. and uh, fish out Zessel's feet and put them in the garb and bundle it up. Okay. Um, yeah, then I'll just uh, grab the boots and head out. Okay. Uh, do I know that um, I could attune to them while walking, or is it more like a sit and meditate sort of thing? Um, 
Actually, this is a question. Would Luke actually know? So make an arcana check. Okay. You're pretty sure if you're not, if you don't spend, if you spend a decently calm amount of time just walking around, <laughs> not exerting yourself on something else, you should be able to attune to them. Okay. Uh, I'll put them on. And right. uh, I need to head out and look to buy uh, a bow. All right. Um, there are plenty of just general shops and, and places like that that should have a bow. Are you looking for anything special or just run-of-the-mill? Just run-of-the-mill uh, longbow, I guess. Okay. Um... Can both of you roll a d20 for me? All right. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, walking, walking through town, there's a merchant shop not too far off from the tavern. Heading in, uh, they have an assortment and they do have both long bows and short bows available. All right. Um, I'll just grab any, uh, just grab a long bow and make sure the string's like quite well attached and look for a salesman to buy it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it seems pretty good quality. Uh, just a regular oak and long bow. Um, head up the uh, the merchant of the store is a older, uh, yeah, an older human male. Seems fair enough. Uh, looks you over. Well, uh, is there anything else you want with the bow? Uh, no, I I just need this, and if possible, could I just rent it? Hmm. Or can I buy it and return it later? Well, you can do that. All right. That's 50 gold, and you don't need any arrows? I got some. Oh, okay. So dipping a little bit into silver, I pay uh, 50 gold. All right. And then uh, immediately heading out towards the poison like we found okay um and one more time i'm gonna get you guys to both roll d20s huh roll one more d20 for me ah that's what i thought i heard okay um so yeah, you head out fine. It's a few hours to get out there, but it's not too hard to find with the massive tree. That's not really far off. Um, Xantix, what are you doing? Um, this is the day of, right? The the yeah. actual day. Okay, I'm just making sure. Uh, shoot. Me and V were gonna hang out and do things, I think. I don't wanna drag Jay. I guess I'm gonna go out for a walk around the town. I'm just gonna explore, just see what events are on for the day. Because we right. don't really know much about this festival. Sure. Um make a make a charisma check. Alright. He said to me. So, going around town, you chatted up with the locals. They seem to take to you fairly kindly, which is a little on the surprising side. Like, you're, from the south, you're more used to very segregated areas, and walking into CERN for the first time, it's really weird to see, like, dragonborn and tieflings and humans and dwarves and, like, a very melting pot area. This is really odd for Vescon. Um, 
So you're not expecting people to take as kindly and be incredibly open to a halfling as they are. Um, but they explain to you what the Festival of New Light is about, the ideals behind it, um, talking that most of the events are over is in your you're near the end of the week. Um, the only real big one that is left is uh, the Bjorn battle. Okay. Um, and that happens tomorrow. There are a few little side events of just like the taverns might have some drinking games. Uh, people are more read readily available for card games. If you want to test your luck, there are the picked pockets. How much did those cost? Um, man, it's been a while. I <laughs> I can remember the middle one is five silver and the top one is a gold. <clears throat> I can't remember what the bronze pickpockets are. Um, but they also do mention in your travels there are bag versions as well as boxes which are bigger. Hmm. Um, and the boxes are like 5, 10, and 15 gold and you can pick them up in larger shops. Hmm. Sounds fun. I'm I'm low in cash, so hmm. Hmm. Moonstones. Are those important for things as far as I'm aware? Um I mean you know of some spells that require precious gems. Ah. I see where this is going. Alright, those are staying in my pocket. Oh. Fuck. I'm an idiot. Alright, it's fine. Um. Oh yeah, they also mention a brief bit of the Labyrinthian market if you're interested in trying your luck at finding a random oddity. Let's do that. Oh, you're also technically carousing for the day because in the event... You are always carousing if you spend the day in town. So roll me 1d100. Cool. 1d100. That's not how you roll. Uh, in a quick game of chance, you manage to catch a, like in a three card Monty game. You manage to catch someone using a pretty simplistic illusion, but instead of calling him out for it and getting caught, he pays you off five gold to keep it a secret. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll keep that a secret. Um, so yeah, you make it up into the Labyrinthian market, and you understand pretty quickly. Um why they call it that. Uh, not so much buildings or even proper stalls. There are market shops set up here which are just even like you turn over a cart to make it a table. Um, oh. People selling all sorts of wares. You can smell exotic foods. You like Even some things that you remember from down from the land of eternal youth. The smells and scents of items from down there are even in this market. Okay. Um, so the way it works is you describe something... Uh, like, even on a vague idea of what you're looking for, because the market could hold absolutely anything. Um, and then based on your luck, it might be there. Ooh. Um, shit. Now I have too many things I want to say. <laughs> well, just so you know, it'll take you... Like, each of these searches would take about an hour, given how 
chaotic this market is. Spell scrolls. Okay. Uh, roll me a d100. S C R. <laughs> what? For a second there, I thought the the D twenty was. Ah. Uh, yeah, I said one hundred. My bad. Yeah. Because trust <laughs> me, if you got a two on a D one hundred, much. No, I got close though. <laughs> um. <laughs> it, it's good. I mean, like one point lower, and you would have hit the bottom threshold thing of just getting lost in the markets. Ah, good. Um. But yeah, after a couple hours searching, every so often you get, you almost hear as if there's a lead on the spell scrolls, but this place is impossibly hard to navigate. And you spend the better part of an hour trying to find places, and you finally come upon the one that everyone's describing, and just, the guy's closing up shop for the day already. No. Seems he's sold out whatever stock he has, and he's heading home, just wishes you better luck. Dang it. Well, I tried. Is there other shops then? Is this like I don't know what time it is then? If it's like getting close to oh no, like mo the people here in the market and like you you even ask kind of quizzically because it's just a little, uh, it's just about noon, maybe a little bit past right now. Um, okay. but the guy explains to you most people who are here just bring a set quantity of items. Like a trapper might have just come in and is selling furs for the day. So when they're out of material, they close up shop for the day and leave. Ah. Uh, okay. um, and it just seems whatever this guy has had, considering it's during the event, spell scrolls probably sell off quite well. Dang it. I am going to... I'm going to wander around the labyrinth for a bit. Just making sure I know where I am. All right. Um, so if you spend an hour doing that, if you ever come back to the Labyrinthian Market, you have advantage on your next roll. Yes. Okay. Um, also, welcome back, Jay. Hello. Is this oh any better? God. It's way better. You're also very loud. <laughs> well, I got to shut you down. <laughs> I had her yeah. at 200. Christ. Oh, God. Rip. <laughs> I <laughs> saw your 100 thing, and I was like, oh, I should probably do that before she... Oh, she's speaking. Too late. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I had to I... run and get, like, headphones. It's all right. Um, so, yeah, if you just want very quick recap of things that you'd like to try and get done, uh, it is the present day now, if there isn't something you wanted to accomplish before catching up. Uh, Dell has mysteriously disappeared somewhere and Xantix said he has gone off to mm. learn a bit about the town. I did it again. I need to remove this from my hotbar. Takes over my desktop for like a good minute or two. So does Vivine want to try and accomplish anything? Let's move you. You're fine. I, I just heard like a weird. Like, it almost sounds like you're tuning a string instrument right now. Did I forget to push that? It's possible. There is also a little bit of, like, lag in in it, but I can actually understand what you're saying. At least now I figured out what the problem is then, because initially when I was talking, I was right beside the router, so I guess I need to be in this room. I guess, yeah.
so. Okay, I was about to ask, like, making sure I'm not the only one not hearing anything. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was just like, silence. Cool. I'm trying to laugh as my puppy barks, like, really loudly beside me. Ah. So I'm trying to catch him in. The, like down moments and speak really quickly and then go off as he starts barking again. Well, uh, then quickly, Del, you've made it up to the pond. Okay. Um, before I get initially to the pond, I'm gonna like uh, just find an area for some more wand casting. Okay. And I'm gonna unbundle the uh, feet and leave them out in the open on top of the bundle and uh, take my 30 feet back and cast. All right, uh, roll a d100. Uh, to be um, careful a mass as the top orb starts spinning a massive burst of light erupts from you does it it dissipate? is colorful and beautiful and oh it just bursts for a second and then um oh i do need you to make a constitution saving throw Um, mainly because you are, I mean, you don't trust this thing. As soon as you see the light start to glow, you kind of cover your eyes instinctually. Uh, you look back around, it was a bright burst of light. That's about it. Hmm. All right. Uh, gather some resolve and cast again. All right. This one. Okay. Um oh, God. <laughs> the back orb spins and you feel a little electric shock run up your body, but other than that you feel okay. And that orb goes dark. Hmm. <laughs> Bad things are happening to you right now and you do not know it. <laughs> okay. Um Casting again. Numbers going down. It makes me worried. <laughs> uh, death. Ooh. Hey. I thought you were dropping out to run away from Dell, continuously casting things. <laughs> What a little one. Um, Zessel's as the back orb spins, a beam shoots out towards the feet. Zessel's feet turn red. Hey, nice. All right. Um, Gonna go examine the feet then and see if there's any other changes. Okay. Uh, make an arcana check. His feet are red. Like, if you painted them, but there's no paint. Hmm. 
right, nope. I'm gonna bundle up the feet and head to the lake. Okay. So yeah, uh, you make it to the lake, it doesn't really look much different than before. All right. Um, there are still the dead animal bodies that you left there. Uh, looking around uh, for anything alive and moving. Uh, make a nature check. Hmm. You think you can see like a a few like rustles and bushes? You don't see any animals. All right. Um, going to uh, walk up to the side of the lake. Mm hmm And uh, take off the wing boots. Okay. And I'm gonna put them down with uh, the bundle. And I'm going to go into my inventory and pull out. Uh, the dark vision potion and plop that down as well. Okay. And then uh, pulling out the longbow and the uh, cold work iron arrows, I'm going to start shooting them into like a half circle around the items into the ground. All right. So, yeah, you've made it. Decent enough half circle of them. And pretty much Luke's going to uh, kneel down and uh, start praying in a sense. Not to anyone, but just in memory of Zessel. Okay. And after a few moments, uh, he grabs the bundle of feet and just tosses it into the lake. Okay. Wow. Um, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so they kind of sit there in the lake, I guess. I'm... I'm really not sure what the buoyancy rate is on poisoned water. So I'm going to say for a little while they're up there, but eventually they just start to sink. All right. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, and Del, you'll have inspiration for doing this. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And what is... I put that together. Oh, no way! It's literally put together, but... We'll find out. Still. What's it actually? Oh, you had this all planned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you, Del. Is this has a proper, prop, prop, wow, can't even speak. Proper burial. I, can I, can I say what I absolutely love? Is mm. that someone actually passed through and downvoted it? <laughs> <laughs> that seems just about right. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> and after a while, uh, Luke's going to sit there and think. <clears throat> like, uh, he's going to walk back over and pick up the boots and the potion. <laughs> pull out some paper and, like, scribble something down. Uh, and take out the, uh, the wand, stab it into the ground through the paper. Okay. And then he leaves. <laughs> Goodbye, wand. Oh, he's got another one. I owe you. Hey, no one downvoted this one. Is that what the wand looks like, too? Dang. Yeah, that's a wand of wonder. Wand of trouble. So yeah, um, 
Is there anything else you want to do out there? Um, just look at the big tree uh, from a distance to see if there's anything different with it. Other than that, just heading back to town. Mm. It's a little wilted, but y you can't really tell. It's quite tall. Um, so yeah, you two who are back in town. Well, I finished up the labyrinth. I don't know what V was doing. So, um, how, how big is this town? I can't tell the scale based on. Roll um, like, is it a long town long. or a city? Oh, it is a city. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see it, but everyone's been saying town, and it looks huge to me. No, we're all just dumb and like to call everything a town, even if it's it like two houses. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, industry town. can be village. <laughs> the village, it's like town. Um, <laughs> Look, to be fair, like everything other than a metropolis, we'd actually consider a town nowadays. Mm, yeah. That's true. Like, th this place is considered a small city with, I think, a population of 67,000. I'll be honest, I feel like that's here, but I understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, is there, would there be a, like a library? Um, not a direct library, but a few places. You, you've heard enough of CERN that they are much, while guilds exist pretty commonly elsewhere, they're more of a staple, like, a school is more or less a guild here, as is everything. So, uh, there is word of an arcane guild here that probably would have a pretty decent library. Surprised, so she would try the information. Sorry, I, I really didn't catch that. She can't about. You guys are having a problem with this too, right? Uh, yeah. Just yeah. First two words. Clap, clap. Hey. You know, I thought about it like two minutes before session. That, oh crap, we don't have Asta, therefore we're not recording. You know, it's probably a good thing we're not recording tonight. <laughs> not really anything's happening. Uh, no. <laughs> you say that, but I am recording. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Del's like, don't worry, boys. I always got you. I have the tragedy on here. It's good. Why, is there PC shit? Well, I remember his PC wasn't great before. Hmm. What, mine or Jay's? I think both, really. Sure. <laughs> I remember you were complaining about something terrible on your PC months back now, but... Yeah, like, power supply was, like, bad on it or something.
Yeah, well, we're waiting her, for her to switch over. Um, she'll she'll get some extra time, I guess. But um, once more with feeling, D twenty from the both of you. <laughs> once more with feeling. All right, boy, I'm here to diddle you. Yeah, this time, um, <laughs> Luke, as as you come back into town, um. While, while for the most part, the rings are a little on the generic side, um, guild members who have an official role, the ring reacts differently. You're picking up one that is not a ranked member, and it is moving. Not ranked and is moving. That... Yep. So it is a generic ring, and it's moving. I tell which direction it's moving, like towards the anywhere towards the tavern we're at, the market. Hey Zach, uh, where are you going? Uh, well, I came out of the labyrinth just now, so. So labyrinth is that would be the exit right there. <coughs> I don't know if you're waiting on me or Del, but I'd be coming out of the labyrinth and I guess I'm just gonna find Vavine if she didn't come with me. Okay. Uh, so yeah. The exit to the labyrinth and market is kind of up here, because this whole like dirt patch is where the market sets up. Okay. Uh, and the Hydra's about down here. Alright, well, I guess I'm making a hike so, close down. So yeah, at for a little while, yeah, it does seem almost as if it's heading towards uh, the inn you're staying at. Luke? Okay. Um, in that case, um, I'll stick around the tavern. I'll actually uh, revisit that bow shop. Okay. And um, uh, an afternoon, sir. I'm back with the bow. If I could sell it back, that'd be great. Sure thing. I'll have to take a look over it. Sure. He's, he, he seems, like, really curious how, like, you wanted it for, like, three hours. Yeah. Um, looks it over. It, it's in fine shape, so he just, he gives you back the exact coin that you had given him. Okay. Uh, uh, any chance would you buy arrows? Hmm. Depends, uh, like, regular arrows or a... Uh, I pull out 13 regular arrows and 15 cold iron arrows. I have uh, two different sets. One is better quality than the, the average other. Well, um, I don't really have interest in the regular ones. But um, for the cold iron ones, I'm... Uh, Actually, can, yeah, considering their price, it would be... Yeah, I'd give you two gold for the 15 gold iron. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I, I think that'll do it. Thank you. All right. And I'm just going to um, head back to What's the, the range on your ring again, Del? Yeah. Uh, 250 feet. Okay. Uh, so you are close enough that going into the shop, you would notice the ring continuing on, but it would go past the... Uh, it would go past uncrested and down. You'd lose track of it before you left, but it would be heading south. All right. Um, I'm going to click my boots and fly last known direction. All right. Uh, you do pick it back up without too much distance, probably just a little ways outside the Coliseum. 
Still heading south. Alright, I'm just gonna um, track down. Zach, make a perception check. Ooh, perceive the world. Um, yeah, it, it's not hard to notice. There is something you can't quite pick out at this distance, but there is something flying that does not have wings that is rough, a little bit broader, but roughly the size of a human. Can I see the boots on his feet? No, this is still too far off. Oh. I'm going to arcana check him because I'm interested in how he's flying. Okay. Uh, make an arcana check with disadvantage because you have trouble seeing him. Uh -huh. This is just enough that you can notice that he's there. Well, first that goes to magic. Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you know a few magical items yeah. that could do it. Like, there are... There, there is actually just a spell that can let you fly. Yeah. I got rid of that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it might be a spellcaster who just decided to fly for some reason, but he's continuously getting closer to you, especially if you've stopped. Yeah, of course I've stopped. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh. But yeah, Luke, it, it doesn't take long. You're closing in quite quickly. Uh, and you're hovering over. So... There, is, there is a bit of a crowd. Uh, Zach, you looking as he's pretty much right on top of you now, only <laughs> up in the air. Um, yeah, he's wearing winged boots. Oh. Where did you find those? I bought them at a shop in town. What shop? Uh... Something over in the market owned by a tiefling. Hmm. I start heading that way. The um, ring starts going in the same direction as the odd me. little... Who, who am I looking at, by the way? <laughs> uh, you're a gnome? A gnome? I mean, you're... Yes, that's what I am. I begin walking towards the market. <laughs> do you do you have a ring on you? A ring? I mean... Magical ring that... Do I know this ring is magical, Kev? Um, basically, if you had ever taken the time to go, hey, this is more than just a oh. ring that I found, then yeah. yeah, you'd know it's definitely magical. Okay. And what would this magic ring do? Well, it signifies you as a member of my guild. Your guild? But that's if you wear it. I suppose you could have taken it from someone else. No. I found and I pulled my hand out and show the ring and I'd say I found this while in the uh, ruins of like an artifact temple or something like that. I forget what I said it was. Yeah, I mean, ba basically, you, you can claim just some archaeological site that uh, your cloister would probably just have it as a cataloged name. Yeah. Site 237-B or something like that that would have absolutely no meaning to people outside of the cloister. Yeah. <laughs> Was this recent? Um, no. And how exactly did you find it? What condition? Wow, you're asking a lot of deep stuff that, uh, I was just scrounging around a, a temple in Old Vrune's area and just looking for magic items, and I came upon this. Mm -hmm. 
Well, if, uh, <laughs> if you're heading to this uh, magic shop, maybe I could put in a word for you. Well, I don't really have much money. I'm just more going there to browse. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you uh, you here for the festival? Uh, we. We? Uh, hold on. Let me at least get the sentence out first. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, uh, do we know about the festival? I know we don't know what the festival's about, but do we know about the festival itself? Um, as we were headed there. Yeah, you probably heard enough of like people because you were in a small village before this one yeah. that there is a festival that goes on in CERN, and you might, considering you keep heading north looking for like interesting things, people suggested that the festival might draw some people in. Okay. Uh, we just heard word of a festival happening, and there might be some interesting things here. And so we came, just out of curiosity. Uh, so you're with the group already? Well, one other. Although I don't know where she is right now. Yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the same boat. I don't know where most of my people are. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can find them together. Sure. There we go. Uh, the name's Luke. Xantix. A hand, like, reaches down from the sky to... What? As this entire time, you, you still haven't landed. Uh, <laughs> you realize this, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> hold on, <laughs> I could be, I could be really crazy about this, but I'm not gonna. I I just shake your hands, Xantix. Um, meta wise, who am I looking at? Do you see the picture? Sort of. He actually yeah. has a token down at the bottom if there is enough resolution. Yeah. I'm just not holding that thing. I have... There's nothing in my hand like that. No wand, no staff or anything so like that. I, can... I have crystal uh... goggles on my head. Yeah, so Luke, you should be able to just see his bio page now. A male gnome, I'm guessing four foot or something. Uh, I can tell you the exact height. It's three foot six. Black hair, skin's the color of skin, because whatever that is. So you can't tell if that would be offensive for an SJW or proper nomenclature. <laughs> what color is skin? It's skin. <laughs> hey. So I'll, uh, I'll unclick the boots if that's how they work. Okay. And fall to the ground. Yep. And fall to the ground. <laughs> so yeah, he just kind of lands thunk pretty heavily right next to you. Oh. Those are some nice boots. Uh, thank you. My friend can do the same, but without them. So your friend has wings? Yeah, actually. What does Vivine look like, Kev? <laughs> um, oh, wait, I actually yeah. do know. I have a message from Jay from a while back. Also, there's an image of her actual character next to yours. Oh. Okay. Well, what color is her wings, as I should ask, because I don't think... Ever said that? They like actually. 
she did tell me that they'd probably glow similarly to her eyes so they can't quite discern the true color. So they're the color of her eyes. So orange wings? Yellow wings? Yeah, she has bright wings. <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. But I describe them. Is her is her name Aki? No. Okay. Because uh, what her name be Aki? N uh, latest uh, members is uh was winged. Is winged. Ah. Okay. Seems we have a lot of wings here. Well. We best be on our way. All right. Oh. Find our friends. Who are you looking for? Well, I got a got a Lupin companion who's probably out in the forest somewhere. <laughs> uh, the icky person I mentioned who participated in the Battle of the Bards. I doubt she'll be out and about too much. She's pretty popular. We're trying to find both of them? Because uh, the Iki one sounds easy. Yeah, probably either or. Just yeah, and uh, Zentix, if you went to the Battle of the Bards, you will know, you'd know instantly who Iki is. Oh, okay. Because they made they made a pretty big deal when she won. Fair enough. So you mean the the she was a bird, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. She was a, she's the bird that won on stage the other day? Or yesterday? The uh, other day. Yeah. Oh. And she's part of your guild. Yeah. Somehow she joined us uh right after the event. Oh. You guys must be pretty popular. Well, uh, we're known as the Immortal Guard, if you've heard of us. I assume I haven't. You have not. Okay. No, doesn't ring any bells for me. Hmm. How are you? Uh, so, on our way to the market, I guess, uh, I'm just going to keep a, a ring sense out. For the ones other than that we have. All right. Um. Yeah, considering you're heading north, not south, you do not pick up anything. And there's. Oh wait, that's not Jay. Nope. That's a matter. <laughs> I thought Jay was coming back after I saw her re jump in roll twenty. So yeah, what are you guys doing in the market? Browsing, looking at magical items. Keeping mental notes. Because they're all so cool. Yeah, and I mean, th there are a few things here and there. Um, one of the biggest sources of magical items, though they're pretty mundane in your opinion. Uh, there is a shopkeeper who is selling all sorts of variations of the most simplistic kind of bag of holding. You know I have don't have any gold. <laughs> you knew that this shopkeep was here anyway. You've bought from her before. I know, but I forget a lot of things too when I'm trying to buy stuff with I want spells. The money that you don't have. <laughs> I like spells, but I want a bag holding for a full one for uh a gold? What's her cheapest one cost? Um, she's got pouches, like pouch based ones that are like a hundred gold. 
way out of my price range. Dude, it's interdimensional space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Well, they were cool to look at as I drool over them. <laughs> Is the... um? have the information in front of me um the shopkeep that is it the same one who uh, <laughs> i need to spit it out um <laughs> that i sold the long sword the great sword to yeah that's the same one okay uh i'm gonna ask her if she still has it uh no actually i don't um managed to find a buyer for it two days ago oh all right uh just actually a little bit after you guys came around, come to think of it. Did they say anything about competing in uh, the events? Mm. Where were they? No, just go? seemed really interested in the blade. It's a really big fella too. Um, I mean, if he was part of the guild, of the guild, he didn't really wear much to show it off. All right. Well, glad someone found a use for it. Yeah. Uh, say, have you uh, have you seen any of the Black Guild around, or the my Lupin friend? Hmm. Haven't seen your Lupin friend. Uh, did notice a few members of the Black Guard muttering something about a hunt, and I think two of them were a little annoyed because they pulled out of the battle tomorrow. I mean, if you're really looking for them and you can get in, I'd, I'd go up and take a look at Uncrested. That's, I think that's where they're staying. Yeah, uh, good point. Uh, also, side note, Matt F., um, I was just assuming you were taking a little time to get ready and you knew you were muted, but yeah, you are. Yeah, I know. Okay. Xantex, uh, that's... I am uh, here, though. That's the end that we currently stay at. Uh, where are you staying at? Uh, Hydra's Tavern. Can you not hear me? Said what tavern? Oh, Hydra's Tavern. No, all right. Same as your friend? Yes. Do you think she's there? I don't know. What time of day is it? Mm, one, two o'clock. Hmm. Um, trying to think. Where do oh, I want to go in roll 20? Oh, uh, Vescon. Yeah, I was doing things under the hood, and when you mess with the API scripts, you should always create a backup. Um, so yeah, now that you're here, Metef, uh, you've spent the better part of a day, like from 8 o'clock till 2 o'clock, in what I'm assuming is very boring meetings with members of the Black Guard, um, discussing very dry versions of tactics and planning, and this is where the strike's going on, and asking for the absolute most minute detail of that dragon. Okay. Um, but they have mostly finished up for the day. And you're free to do whatever you want. Okay. So what do you do? I... Not sure about that. Okay. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> Luke, uh, Luke took stuff out of my inventory. I wasn't sure if you actually had it on you or not, so I just said you had stored Zessel's items in your room, and he had gone into your room. Oh. Yeah, I hadn't moved them or anything, because last time was, like, literally we escaped the dragon, so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you if you head back up into your room, uh, you can notice the pile of Zessel stuff has been messed with. Specifically, Zessel's feet inside her boots? Uh, the boots entirely are gone. Including the feet. That was in them. Yep. Um, what day is it? Uh, one day before the battle. Uh, it has been a new day. Huh? In relation to the ferry. Uh, two days to ferry. Okay. Um, did the um, I can't remember the name. Blackguard, Blackhand, Blackguard, Blackguard. Did the Blackguard give me an indication that they had any more need of me? No, they they seemed pretty content with what you had given them. Okay. If I'm not expected to be any on, on any sort of hunt in the morning, then I'm going to finish off the rest of that bottle of poison. Okay. Um, and this time he's not pacing himself. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, Luke and Xantix, if you head back towards Uncrested, you will most certainly find Mataf uh, already be, quite drunk. In the room. By the way, in your room or just in the general room? In probably. It doesn't matter. Either way, like, it, yeah, if Luke walked in, even if you were in the room, his ring would let you know you're in your room. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably in the general room. Uh, from where we were at uh, Bruna's bag shop. Uh, where is the Dragonborn Smithy that I was working with? Uh, on, like, the far side of town. The Smithy is with most of the guilds uh, in this general area. Xantex, uh, just remember to have a, a weapon to go pick up, and if we can't find your friend then, maybe we should check both of our uh, taverns for them? I thought, yeah, we should. Sounds like a good idea. Alright, so we head to the, the smithy. Alright. Um, let's see, uh, so you're going straight to the smithy first, or? Uh, yeah, just, uh, keep an eye on the, the ring sense and heading to the smithy. Yeah, uh, no, you managed to make it to the smithy without detecting anybody. Uh, so you head in. Uh, as usual, you can find the same gaunt dragonborn hammering away at something. Um, stops for a little for a minute. Doesn't seem she is as preoccupied with this one. Except, ah, you're back again with another new one. I keep seeming to doing that, don't I? <laughs> yes, yes, you do. You know he brings in a lot of people into this shop. That's. <laughs> That's okay. From what he's described, he seems to be pretty popular. At least the place he works at. 
Uh, yeah, we're just uh, I'm just here to pick up the axe if it's ready. Uh, still doing a few little fine touches to it. Um, if you want to come around closing or early the next morning, should be good to go. Okay. Uh, you don't need anything from me, like measurement wise, do you? Like hand grip size or anything like that? No, I'm I'm pretty good with that from sight. Right. Sounds good. Uh, Especially seeing as you uh, tested out two or three of the other ones on the wall already, and I know them. That's true. Uh, Santex, do you have a weapon preference? Me? Yeah, like something in here. Uh, I don't usually use things with my hands as weapons. Are you just not a fighter in general? I can fight. I can hold my own when I need to, um, but I don't. I don't usually hold use weapons. Oh, are are you like? Uh, do you hurt people with words? Kind of something like that. Sure. I'm a wizard, Luke. Your character's name sounds like a prescription medicine. It probably is a prescription medicine. <laughs> it's, it's There's a prescription medicine called Zantac. Oh, uh, well, this just popped up while I was rolling names. I was like, oh, that sounds better than uh, Zilver. <laughs> Close enough. Xantix. So uh, I pull out my... Uh... The newer horn that I bought. Um, so if if you use this, would it help you hurt more things? Xantex. Oh, you were talking to me. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. If if you use words to hurt people, would using this horn help at all? What is? this horn do, Kev? Do I know? Can I arcana check it? Do you know what it does, Luke? What does this horn do? Well, it's... Uh, that's just the horn that you bought from uh, at the... Battle of Bards area, yeah? Yeah. Um, I mean, you can arcana check it if you want. I'll do it. Jesus. Yeah, holy fuck, I heard that. Why is my roll 20 so loud? Um... It looks like a mundane horn. But what would I what would I use this for? Well, you you play it to make louder noises. I'm not a bard. I'm a wizard. Sometimes I have to use words. Sometimes I have to do things different ways. I use magic to hurt people. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I wasn't clear on that. God, I, I love Luke's, like, inept understanding of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the offer, though. It's a... It's a horn. It's it's there. Yeah, it's nice. But... Maybe, maybe you can give it to my friend. She uses words in the way that you're thinking to hurt people. Oh, well, uh, all right. Put Maybe she'll away. like it. <laughs> Thank you for the offer. As long as she doesn't use it on me. You, you, hurt, you hurt him well enough with your words. <laughs> <laughs> as long, yeah, I, I don't, uh, you know, I'd answer that question if Jay was here, because all I know is our characters know each other very well. Speaking of your friend, uh, isn't your place around here? It's a little bit to the south, yeah. Yeah, it is. All right, uh, lead the way. All right, I'll lead the way. Uh, so you, as as you start to lead the way, it's not too long that you pick up heading into the southern district that you do pick up another ring. It is completely stationary. <clears throat> right, I'll, uh, I'll keep it in mind 
as we're traveling. Yep. Um, and it, it's a little bit weave here and there as you make it through the streets, but it seems that he is leading you to, uh, like the the tavern that he's leading you to is also the place where the ring is. Uh, Xantex. Uh-huh. Does your, does your friend have a ring, too? Did you find two rings? I... Yes, she does have a ring. Why? Well, I'm... Same way I found you, I'm sensing her ring. Oh. Do you do you two like to raid, plunder, search for treasures? Often. Played, yeah, uh, yeah. We well, we initially came here to just look for cool things, mysterious objects, spell scrolls, spell scrolls. Spell scrolls are nice. <laughs> Noticing a pattern. By the way, Matt, F, just so you know, in like stages of this, when they get back, you are very drunk. Cool. Like they, if they went right away, they would have caught you a little tipsy. But like this is, I can't speak anything but Lupin anymore again. <laughs> like that, that's the level of drunk Matt F is at this point. Whenever I start to get tired, I'm just gonna like go into my room and lay down on my bare skin and fall asleep, so Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you guys are at the Hydra. I go to V's room and I knock on it. V you hear some there? grumbling on the other side. Hmm. Well, she doesn't seem to want to be bothered right now. Well, uh, but she's here. She's around. As long as you know, that's that was the goal. Yeah, I'm just gonna say into her. I'm headed out with a a new friend that I made named Luke. We'll be back later. And we head off. Yeah, you can hear from the other side of the door, just like that. She might be too tired to act like she might not be awake enough to actually have comprehended what you're saying and remember it. But there seems to be like some general like grunts of yeah, sure, cool. Gotcha. Um. So yeah, you guys head back out. Right, uh, guess we can check our my place now. Uh, Time for you to lead the way. I'll lead the way. <laughs> but the um show me the way oh, God. <laughs> uh, our group uh recently helped out a little dwarven lady uh plunder some dwarven caves uh do you know Dooley? did are you part of her group no just just me and the one and where do you hail from the land of eternal youth, like most gnomes. So you're both gnomes? Well, she isn't. A gnome with wings? I don't think I've seen one of those. That'd be quite the sight to see, though. No, she's uh, an Azimir. Did she come here for the Battle of the Bards, since she plays? Did she know about I think we just were coming up this way and we just heard about it. Yeah, we were just coming up this way. Uh, like I said, just looking for interesting things and we heard about this festival. Not really too many specifics, but a general idea that it's a festival in a city and it's fun. 
So we came here. We didn't initially know the Battle of the Bards beforehand, I think. Okay, so you don't really have a, a real direction you're just wondering about? Yeah, exactly. All right, that, that'll solve a lot of my future questions. <laughs> Wonderlust and knowledge is what we, like, put into some boards. Oh. If, if you want knowledge, take a look at this. And you hand me a clay your book. cock or something? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was, like, waiting for you to go, and I whip out my penis. All right. Clay book. I, I, I take it? Yeah, and it's I... a book made of clay. Okay, I I open it. All right, uh, it seems on the inside there is a single page and just the clay kind of recedes, uh, showing a very old vellum uh, describing an arcane vault. And you've heard of these before. Arcane vaults are tropes. Normally each cloister has one. Mm -hmm. Um, and they hold a transcript of any spell, any magical, um, oh, okay. okay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to say what was said before. Um, so yeah, they, they contain any spells that the cloister had developed, uh, arcane research, if the cloister was specialized in anything like actually creating artifacts, it would probably even have methods of how to create said artifacts. Um, <clears throat> more often than not, e like... Sometimes cloisters will respect other ones and not try to pilfer from them, but at the same time, it's just as equal of, like, corporate espionage kind of idea. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, an arcane vault. Oh yeah, if, if you were looking for secrets of the magical nature, an arcane vault is better than pure gold. Okay. And it just describes arcane vaults in general, or where one is? Uh, it describes the location of an arcane vault um, fairly deep within uh, Dragon's Maw territory. Oh. Hmm. And where do you hail from, Luke? So oh, I'm uh I'm from CERN. But you're a dragonborn. You you have a good eye. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I th I think anyone could figure that out. <laughs> you're saying this is your walking up the stairs uh of Uncrested. Uh I was born elsewhere, um uh, in Dragon Mall Mountains. Dragon Maw Mountains. Huh. Well. Do you think we could head there sometime? Well, it's a very long travel. If we had a quick way to do it, sure, but... Right do you now, know how far the lands of youth are? Not entirely. They're an island, far I, off. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, so that you do know the proper, it would be like literal years you have been gone traveling like straight from there to here kind of idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Yeah, w without the really expensive modes of travel, um, I, I mean, crossing from CERN, crossing from CERN to the Dragon's Maw Mountains, like that far into the mountain range, you'd be looking at a couple months of journey for here down to the land of eternal youth you're looking at 
probably probably in the ball ballpark of two to two and a half years of, of like regular methods of travel. <laughs> oh god. I've traveled for a while. I've traveled far. You're very used to it. I see. Um, where my group is currently on a different mission. If that gets settled, then I'd be happy to head back home. Hmm. It's just an interesting vault that your book has shown me. Vault, huh? Well, book it's a, always seems a to vault show of knowledge. People of different things based on. And what did it show you? Uh, something with fire that. It's called Solid Flame. Solid Flame. Knowledge check. Do I know that? Arcana with disadvantage. It's very rare. Oh, okay. Disadvantage. Arcana. Huh. Um. So, uh, the name of. You do know about Solid Flame. It was kind of it was a pretty interesting spell made <sighs> roughly sixty years ago. Um the reason it's rare is because it, one person did make it. He was fairly famous. He is the only one apparently to have ever mastered it and used it. Um the name of the creator does escape you. But you do know he was a dragonborn, and you know the basics behind the spell. Uh, it essentially lets you create, forge weapons, and some people even claim he could forge armor out of oh. pure flame, and it reacted like solid material. Uh, but it was made completely out of fire that he produced. Huh. Well... Oh, so you're talking about the spell Solid Flame? Yeah, I know. I know some something about that. Are you trying to get your hands on something made of that stuff? That's a tough. That's a tough challenge there. Um, actually, one clarification that you understand: it's not the person can take flame and it becomes a solid permanent object. It is the spell Solid Flame while it's active. It's kind of like a. It's similar to a concentration spell. It has a duration. And during mm -hmm. that duration, the flames that the person conjures will become solid and sustainable. Oh, okay. But then when the spell ends, the fire fades. Gotcha. So you're looking to get your hands on this spell? To control flames as a solid material? Well, uh, I always believed that fire is one of the most damaging properties out there. So yeah, it'd well, be pretty nice. I can't as someone okay. who saw you cast a lightning bolt indoors, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> you actually hear this as you're... You are in your room now. You can hear coming out of Mataf's room. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I see we found one of my members. And it seems you control lightning instead of fire. Interesting change of events here. Uh, oh, he doesn't control the lightning. I don't control much oh. of anything, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, uh, especially those, not as guild members. You're right. <laughs> those uh, <laughs> instances were caused by a magic wand I bought at the wand shop, and I've thus gotten rid of it. Got rid of it. It's shot lightning bolts. It also made me blind, twice. Twice. <laughs> you seem to be fine now. He made a dragon bigger and himself smaller. Hmm. Not a smart move. You should have did it in the reverse. Made yourself bigger and the dragon smaller. Then you crushed the dragon. Unless you weren't trying to kill the dragon. But it sounds like you were. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to stick to my own magic instead of random ones. I can see that. But as I was saying about the solid flame spell, that's going to be something very difficult for you to find. That There's only one person who's ever been known to make it, and he's the creator of the spell. I just can't think of his name right now. And 
you wanted to go to Dragon Mall because I told you an arcane knowledge vault. I wanted to see what's inside. What would you think of the inside? I don't know. I want to see the outside of it first before I decide if I'm going in. Actually, way, Kev, Dev, if you want to tune in on any of this, you can hear this perfectly. They are probably annoyingly keeping you awake. <laughs> <laughs> I will grab any of the multitude of unfinished pelts I have surrounded myself with on the floor and just cover my head with them. Okay. My room is probably very grisly looking. I have a number of unfinished trophy heads. <laughs> Uh, Matt Teff, are, are we still on for the fight tomorrow? Uh, that's probably a no. That's probably a that's probably a hard no. <laughs> really? There's a fight tomorrow. Yeah, the uh, the Bjorn battle. You're participating? Well, just was, you and him? I was trying to wrap up our guild members to participate. But a uh, recent encounter with a dragon kind of tore that to shreds. Oh, I never. I never did my level up. Maybe me and my friend can help with that. You turn around and see Iggy in the door. Yeah, I think that's a little too soon. What she said. Also, who dat? Also, who dat? This says <laughs> uh, Xantex. Uh, Xantex, the uh, gnome. Uh, apparently. You see a very colorful bird lady waving at you. This is obviously icky. Uh, Santex has a guild ring, apparently, and so does her, so does his, his friend. Cool. You're the one that was on stage in one the other day. Yep. Very straightforward, uh, I see. Uh... You're kind of not talkative when you see a dragon melt people. Hmm. That's a thing. It's definitely a thing. And she just, like, walks over and just kind of sits down in the chair, kind of gazing off a little bit. <laughs> Thousand-yard stare. It's post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Is everyone PTSD right now? Then that uh, half is. <laughs> um, she walks off for a little bit and then comes back with a little book, like a little ledger that she had stored in the empty room that had become hers. Uh, looks over. Can can I see that book again? The one I'm holding. Yeah, if you never gave it back, but you have no idea what book she's talking about. She wants the uh, the clay book, Santex. Oh, I hand it over. And you just see her start to like feverently write something down, and a few minutes later, she'll give it back. She's writing in the book. Oh no, she's writing in her little journal what she can see in the book. Oh, oh, and what can you see in the book, Iki? If I remember. Cool place. Um. Ah, uh, and you you see her try like trying to figure out a way to explain what she's reading. Um, ever hear the Font of Heroes? Have I heard of the Font of Heroes? Mm, it it's a bardic tale, so 
how well do you pay attention to actually no cuz uh Vivine isn't a trained bard she's just she picked it up herself right that's correct i'm pretty sure so then yeah you wouldn't have a connection to know the font of like the story of the font of heroes okay uh cuz it describes where that is and it's a long story it's cool but it's a long story and you oh. guys seem busy. And she just, like, her head ducks right back down and she keeps writing. Well, I'd like to hear the story one day. Sounds All right. like a fun story. Okay. And I let her keep writing. We did hit five, right? Yep. Okay. We hit 20. And then you lost 15 levels due to Zessel dying. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't take a dragon. We really could. <laughs> you know, not not to feel like the bad guy, but I there's that little bit in the back of my head that goes, "Do you think Asta hit the dragon just because he wanted a reason to bail?" No, I know that for a fact. That's not why. He hit the dragon because he was actually hoping to just like get its attention. And he was th actually thought we could take it. He was just trying to get it to turn around. That's why I was being a dick to it. Ah. Well, if, uh, if you two don't want to fight the giant tomorrow, uh, would you at least be interested in watching? Maybe. Tentative, maybe. Just a little bit of relaxation and mess around town and then take the boat the next day. But this fight does sound a little fun. Does, uh, does your friend Zantex, uh, does she fight as well? Kind of. She is helpful, just in a different way. <laughs> uh, knowing how the, the Battle of Bjorn works, does it's it's round based, right? So having the Black Guard pull out doesn't help other groups? Mm, well, it's... People get their turn in order of where they signed up. So, the Blackguard pulling out probably means that you have a better chance of getting the prime prizes, because they won't have been taken yet. Um, do I sense Kari's ring as well? You do. Alright, I'll go try to talk to Kari. Kari is not there. Her ring is just sitting on the table. Most of the room looks cleaned out. Uh, um, into the room and grab the ring. Okay. Uh, near the ring, when you can see it, there is a little note on the side. It's it's kind of an explanation of where she's gone. Um, deciding, especially after that, the adventurer's life is not for her. She's more than content with what her life was before the guild. Um, wishes you guys luck. Um, and you can notice, like, under the table... There is a bag that contains most of the funds that she had been holding for you guys. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll grab the bag and see how much and what's in it. 
There we go. Did I'm trying to see where he did and put it put everything before he left. Um, so yeah, there's a golden circlet in there, uh, 500 silver. And a healing potion. All right, I'll gather all that then. Well, uh, looks like uh, Car is not going to be traveling with us. And we have another vacant room. Matash just going to like shoot up out of his nest of skins and sh yell, what? Uh, there's a note left by Akari that she's leaving. Left her ring and a bag of the guild possessions. Mattaf drinks the rest of his point if he has any and goes to sleep. Oh, th there's none left. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Mattaf gives up and goes to sleep anyway. Alright. So, drunkenly, you go to sleep at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a good time. Good time. How about uh how about you, Wiki? Uh what are your plans so far? Um Well, I uh are, are are we going after anything like dragons again? No. Okay. I still think I'd rather like head up and see that guild hall you were talking about. Um, and take a little breather from that. And then, I don't know, do do some guild stuff. A lot of people don't seem to know about you guys, so I might try to help with that. Okay. Uh, do you have any plans on how you'll spread our word? Spread the mm. word of our Lord. <laughs> well, I mean, it would help a lot if we had killed the dragon. Yeah. So far, uh, the best thing we have is probably you. Then, I mean, I, I can 
I can do some songs and stuff in towns and get people to recognize the guilt through me, I guess. Hmm. All right. Uh, I can't really be too picky, so that sounds fine. <laughs> Uh, Xantix, uh, you seem really interested in that giant fight. Uh, do you have any further input on that, or do you just want to watch it? Fighting in it sounds fun and reaping the reward, but I mean, if we know enough people. Well, it's... Plus, I guess I don't know my friend's plans for that day. I'm assuming it has to do with the giant thing, maybe, but she may just want to sleep. Yeah, the uh, the fight costs 15 gold to enter and 5 gold per person. Hmm. Well, it's still be interesting to enter. All right. Um, how about we go check out the event uh, location and see if it's still going? Okay. Uh, two of you are welcome to join. But... Matt has to sleep. Not getting a response from Matt have, so that's probably a no. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> snoring. Well, come along. Actually, how busy is it outside? <laughs> Normal city, it's still the festival. Yeah. Uh, I should probably stay. Alrighty. Do we need to, like, work on a disguise for you or something. Yeah, we need to get her a disguise kit so she can paint her feathers. <laughs> well, unfortunately, your disguiser, the only person with expertise in that, <laughs> is dead. <laughs> you work in magic, Xantix. Do you, uh... Do you disguise people with illusions? Oh, I, I had the option to grab that. I didn't. But I could have. Grab that. Like a, like a scroll? Yeah, something like that. I, 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 there is a spell that can do that. I just don't have access to it. Hmm. Maybe we should look for that then. No, it's a simple enough spell called Disguise Self. Well, if it's disguised self, does that mean she has to learn it? Yeah, that's why I said if we had a spell scroll, she could use it whenever it will the one time, but... Or oh. if she got it, or if she got the spell herself, somehow, however, bards learn spells. And you talked about scrolls a lot. Do you know how much they generally cost? It depends on the spell. That one. Disguise self was i'm actually just i think it's level one yeah this guy itself i mean wouldn't cost a lot especially since what it does isn't too crazy um can i gauge a price for that kev what uh, that spell scroll cost if it was disguise self um yeah make an insight check okay I'm sorry, I'm to have disadvantage on, but it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, you can only really go off what you've seen, and you've seen prices fluctuate. Um, uh, areas where, like, some places will sell them as cheaply as like thirty gold for the scroll, 
Some mm -hmm. places you've seen have sold upwards of 60 gold per a scroll, per level one scroll. Um, so it completely depends on the market. You would not, you don't understand well enough to say in this area what it would run. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have a good idea. I mean, we'd have to go check. It depends on the area itself and the demand and, mm -hmm. like I said, the spell. All right. Uh, does Luke know where the event's going to be held? I, uh, you're assuming the way everyone's talking, it will be in the arena. Okay. So, I guess uh, Zantek and I will head there. Yep. Uh, you guys are, are traveling pretty pretty heavily through town today, so both of you guys can roll another D100. What's going to happen today? Terrible, terrible things. I rolled that too, that we talked about. <laughs> yep. Um... So, Luke... You happen upon a little game of chance, just a simple dice rolling thing. Um, through it, you you give it a shot, um, and not only do you make back the money that you put down, you end up winning one of the prizes they have. It's a, a silver picked pocket. Okay. And the whole bag is like silver colored. Yep. Right, I'll just hold on to it for now. All right. Alright, but yeah, you make it down to the Coliseum. Does it look like uh, they're still preparing, or like the event's still being set up? Um, there are some booths being set up. You can see a few people ordering around. You can see the biggest thing you can pick out is there's a large number of very physically fit People who you'd expect to be like fighters and combatants, but they're all they all seem to have the same insignia mostly on their right shoulder. Um and it's it looks like a a person holding up a shield trying to block a very large club. Uh, what are these insignia wearing people doing? Mm, it seems to be setting up stalls. A few of them are even actually like behind little counters. You see a group of like six fairly young uh, people on different races uh, talking to them, handing over a bag of gold, and then all cheering as they're walking away. So it looks like they're doing something to organize the event. All right, uh, I'll head up to the same stall. All right. Uh, behind the stall is a gray-furred tabaxi. I, I love how the second I say it's a tabaxi, uh, Kaya's keys go crazy. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence. Just keying a weapon into my page. The weapon is... <laughs> Jagged bro. Ooh, a cat. <laughs> um, But yeah, she looks up. 
Ah, welcome. Uh, is there something I can help with? I'm assuming two people is not a group for tomorrow. Uh, Me could. You you are right. Uh, is for those people just signing up? Yeah. Which is good. We're kind of short. We had kind of planned for the Blackguard having two spots. And then Magus pulled out. Say Magus? Yeah. Just apparently they can't get up here in time. Uh, how long is the uh, entrance available? Uh, I mean, you can realistically sign up uh, until... Well, I mean, most most people last 15, 20 minutes set up, break down. You want to clue up like 5 tomorrow. So I guess like 3 o'clock. If there's room. Depends on when we fill up. May I ask uh, how many have entered so far? Yeah, four teams. Also, one thing both of you can notice, um, this tabaxi has a very pungent scent to them. Hmm. Like, Luke, this reminds you of Matt Taft before you made, her, made him take a bath. <laughs> he smells like the outdoors! Uh, are you in one of the groups? Oh no, I'm with the organization crew. I mean, it, everyone would think we'd be cheating if Giants Guard put in a team. And uh, what are the requirements for entry? Yeah, 15 gold for the team in general, plus 5 for any member. You, you show up during your slot, fight the fight, you win, you get your pick of what prizes remain. One item out of whatever is left. You lose, you get nothing. And, uh, this is obviously a dangerous event, fighting a giant. What, uh, what happens in the event of death? It's not a real giant. It's it's not. Y you know how this works, right? Well, I know it's summoned in some way. It didn't. didn't yeah, make we we make that. an illusion that's somewhat physical. I mean, it'll hurt, but. So if it's only oh, somewhat physical, you can't is die. It... You can't die. Well, I mean, if you stab yourself with the sword, I guess you could die. And, you know, old man has a heart attack in the middle of the arena. He's gonna die. <clears throat> If the giant is only somewhat physical, does that mean it's harder to hit than a normal giant? Oh no, it's made somewhat physical because it's gonna hurt when it hits you. Hmm. Then you won't die. Never said it won't hurt like a bitch. Uh. What do you think, Xantex? Is, uh... I know you still well, have to talk to your friend first. I mean, she said we won't die. That sounds pretty promising in itself. If you're looking for a way to spread your guild's word, this seems like a good way to do it if we win. 
And if we lose, we just don't see where we're from. Simple as that. I really see no losing outcome in this. Well, the, the worst situation is we lose and walk away with less gold than what we had, and not much less at that. All right, I'd like to register an entry. All right, how many members? Uh, five. All right, uh, that'll be 40 gold. All right, and I'll hinder uh, about your 40 gold. Thank you. If you want to take a look at the prizes, they're in that tent. And she points over to a tent just a little ways down the strip. Is that where the other group went? Uh, that general vicinity, yeah. All right, Jantex, let's, uh, let's go take a look. All right. Uh, so, yeah, heading in there, there's six or seven items that appear to be prizes um in the array there is a prize of just pure gold um it looks to be a pouch of about 250 gold uh there are some that are more like contracts and deals and stuff like that uh that would help with the sustainability of a place um so one of them is just like a year supply contract with uh, Verdant Bounty. Uh, you just, it's a good supply of food that will last you for a year is what the contract works out to be. Um, the biggest prize here, the one that seems to draw most people's attention, there's a glass cabinet in the back and it has an array of weapons. Uh, there's bows, swords, axes, you name it. They all look immaculately crafted, um, and it there's like a little display thing on the front, and it notes that uh, the whoever chooses this prize may select one of these magical weapons. Hmm. Um, aside from that, there's a satchel that appears to contain six healing potions. Um, and a few other prizes, but they look much more... They look more like if... What would it draw like a, common, a group of commoners to try and compete? Like a magic sword wouldn't really be that big of a draw, but this item of like a craftsman's guild owing them a favor kind of idea that that's what these are for okay, okay. is there anyone else in here uh looking at the prizes uh the group of young uh, people that you'd seen right beforehand who had signed up right ahead of you are still in there. Uh, you lot seem lively. Uh, you're, you're entering in this contest? Sure are. How many of them are We there? came real close last year. We're going to do it this time, right, guys? And you hear, like, cheers from the rest of them. <laughs> They're so positive. You were close last time? Uh, you fought this thing before. Well, yeah, it's an annual event. I mean, the, the exact fight changes up a little bit, so it's going to be different this time, but... I mean, we only had to deal with two more of Bjorn's wolves, and we would have been good. <laughs> wolves? 
Oh, well, yeah. As the story goes, like one of Bjorn's guard set was a pack of twenty wolves, and getting like eighteen of them down was pretty good. Don't you guys? Another big cheer. You lot from a guild? Eh, no, just... I mean, like, we, we grew up here, messed around with the town guard a bit. We, we like to go hunting every so often. I, uh, I wouldn't go hunting uh, just yet anytime soon. If you've heard of the uh, dragon found in the forest. What? <laughs> oh, Luke. That was a no. <laughs> yeah, just outside of town, the uh, dragon has been spotted, and the black guard are out trying to take care of it. They had to pull out of the event, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go. <laughs> right, uh, good luck to you lot. S same to you. <laughs> well, if uh, a group of people like that could almost win the event, I feel like we have a better shot. Um, and one of the one of the guards, because there's there were a few other people in the room, mainly just members of uh, Giants Guard who were there, because you know you don't make a display case full of magical weapon without guards. Yeah. One of them chuckles. Yeah, they don't seem to mention that the two wolves that were left were Beige's personal pets, Lodi and Scotty. <laughs> Is Scotty a special wolf? Considering they're named wolves, you can make assumptions as you please. Uh, what, what makes the personal pets so different than the other wolves? Well, for one, a regular wolf doesn't breed ice. Breathing ice? Is that like yep. a... We fought some frost bears in the oh, past. Snow bears. <laughs> they breathed, breathed ice, so like that. Well, I guess you'd say so. Frost bears don't freeze a solid, though. Yeah, I mean, Scotty was, I mean, if the stories are right, Scotty, well, you and I, and like, this is a human, he stands roughly your height, Luke, he'd probably come a little bit over his kneecap in height. So, you know, very big wolf. Think like, well, you know how big a frost giant is, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this this guy's scale to a frost giant is your scale to a regular wolf. Oh. But that's just the the two pets? Yeah. Or is all the wolves that size? Oh, no, the, the rest of the wolves, I mean, they were dire wolves and winter wolves, but still just wolves. I mean, taking 18 of them down is impressive. 
Mm, but the last two are more than half the fight. And then they still had the giant to deal with. Oh no, that that year it was just the wolf pack. Oh, okay. So it's just it change it every year based on the lore of Bjorn. Oh yeah, it's something of Bjorn's forces, but when you roll an entire country for like 300 years, what do you expect? If you change it up each year, do you also change it between fights? No, I mean, you can't really... Pre Once the fights start, you can't really change up your plans too much. So as, uh... As we just we change it so that you can't just, like, th that group can't be, okay, this is where we did wrong, this is how we fight a wolf, so... They do better this year. That's boring. It's also a thing. First group has first crack at the best prizes, so we gotta make it a surprise for them. Uh, okay. That makes more sense. Is the uh, stadium pretty packed for these events? Yeah. We might lose a little bit word going around of a few of the big members dropping out. Is there a cost to watch? Uh, yeah. It's two gold per person. And then I mean all the ones who are going to be betting, so... Okay, uh, you two have a nice watch. Good one. So, uh, Santex, if you're so keen on scrolls, have you already been to a scroll shop here? Yeah, I also don't have the money for scrolls right now. But if you're asking if I saw that spell disguise self for Iki, no. Well, uh, on the meta scale, I want to ask you guys, like, I know you're kind of, like, going as slow as possible so that Jay can be a part of this, especially for, like, the Bjorn battle part, uh, which is great. Do you guys just want to do a short session tonight and then pick up the rest? later or that's probably the best idea because that's why i've been just like we can't do much and i specifically as my character can't do much until v's here yeah. so <laughs> yeah i'm like i'm pretty much out of things to do the only other thing we might do is like look for a fight pit just to participate in to like keep limber but other than that nothing oh yeah is he allowed to get into the fighting pits with things cast on him? Actually, I don't mm. know how long this lasts. No. Nah. Depends on if they catch him or not. Oh, well then. <laughs> never mind then. Actually. Oh, man. I could totally cheat, kinda, and help you. Well, it depends. I mean, there, there's probably some where it's a magician can enter the fighting pit, or there are terms where it's like, yeah, we can use magic. There are also fighting pits around that are just like, no, it is, there is no magic oh. in this, this is, you beat the crap out of each other. I'm in, I'm in the stands, and I, like, 
cast a spell light in s stealth. <laughs> so yeah, that in that case, if if it is a no magic arena and they catch you, you're probably gonna get in shit for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't do that, but I'll watch. I'll cheer you on. All right. There's things that I wanted Matt have to do, but he's too drunk to do them right now, so they're probably not getting done until tomorrow. Okay. Um, see, that's the thing. At this point, I would normally say, well, we'll fast forward to tomorrow. But tomorrow is Battle of Bjorn. Mm. And we kind of need Jay there for that. Um, so yeah, sorry guys, I know we had missed last week, but I think it's best just for us to kind of stop here for the night. Yeah, it's a good call. Uh, I agree with that call because I am exhausted from work. <laughs> But we do need Jay. Especially my character. Kind of needs to be around. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Then I'm going to go hit the hay. Alright. Boys and girls, have fun. We will rejoin again for more adventures. Salutations! Okay. Hey, yeah.